I was recently questioning after doing YouTube for a year and a half, why haven't I blown up yet? I think a lot of people who get into any type of business always ask this, where's the money at, right? Where are my views at, right? Where's my, whatever you're doing, right? You're asking that all the time. And you know, it's because most of the people who get into entrepreneurship, most of the people who are trying to do this stuff, they were promised this idea of get rich in one year, get rich in two years, get rich in three years. Because you know, it's hard to tell a new entrepreneur, be like, oh yeah, give it five years, you'll probably turn a profit. And then the entrepreneur's like, oh shit, five years? Hell no, I'm good. Like, no, bro, it'll, it'll take it'll take a year. Like, just get into it. We need entrepreneurs. That's kind of why people do it. Most of the entrepreneurs who tell you that, actually, they're actually trying to genuinely get you to become an entrepreneur. And the few people who last, those are the ones who become successful. So I kind of want to tell you, like, why people think of this and what the solution to this kind of is. So... A lot of people are like, okay, you know, why am I not a millionaire? I've done this business for a year, maybe six months. I've gotten all these calls I've done. You know, I've made all these videos. I've optimized. Let's take a YouTube example. I made all these videos. You know, I've started adding stories into it. You know, I started editing a little better. You know, I hired an editor. I got myself, you know, a scripter. I've been doing all this stuff so much better. But where are my views at? Why am I not getting them? This is kind of the situation I'm in. Well, I didn't put the five years in. I didn't put the five years in of doing all that stuff. You're not going to do well if you haven't put in that time. You might be thinking, okay, what about those people who blow up early in their career, right? Like I've seen this a lot and it's kind of been, I look at it, I'm like, you know, I'm like, okay, they're blowing up, but it's maybe I need a little bit of that, you know? But then it doesn't happen to me and I'm like, shoot, are we doing something wrong? Like maybe I'm not made for this, maybe I'm not. Self-doubt starts setting in. That happens to everyone. You see these other people who've started something and they've getting, they're getting success. They're doing so much better. And you're just there like, bro, like, where's, my, where's my money at? <laughs> so I guess the thing here, firstly, is that people don't understand that work here is really, really important. I heard this from Alex Ramosi. He said, your work works on you more than you work on it. And what he means by that is that when you go to work, you put in those volumes, you put in that rep, those reps, right? It kind of teaches you more than you think you're actually learning. Now, just not making money or not getting views does not mean you're not making progress. It's very hard to measure some levels of progress. So for example, if I went on YouTube right now, I could see how many people watched the video, how long did they watch it, how many people clicked, all that stuff, right? I can see all those metrics. And those metrics are also hard to read. That's a different thing. But there's a thing of like, okay, if I'm improving this, I'm doing better. That's not entirely true. What if there were metrics for how much more emotion you showed in this video? Or what if there was a metric for how much more faster the music was that changed up everything? Or if there's a metric for if they watched your video right after they watched this one? If you could measure all of that stuff, you'll notice that on a graph, you're exponentially learning. We just don't see most of those metrics. I'm a very data centered person, right? So I want to see graphs like going up. <laughs> so I want to see like stuff going up literally, but the thing is, most of the places that I'm improving in, that our videos are doing better in, they are not something that can be measured. That's why the work I put in, the editing I do, the scripting I do, the brainstorming, the thumbnail creation, all the stuff that PG and I do, it's all something that works on us more than we work on it because we're learning so much more from it. And I guess... The thing we kind of have to believe here is that as long as you're getting better, you're making progress and progress equals success. Think about if you were turning a profit right now, wherever you're at, maybe you're running a YouTube channel like me, maybe you have your own business. What if you were turning a profit right now? How would you be able to measure if your profits are increasing? The only way you can see if your profits are increasing are through money. Now, how do you get to increasing that money? It's through increasing small things in every single department. Right? Maybe you teach your sales team a little bit more, or maybe you up, up your story more if you're on YouTube. Maybe you teach, maybe you learn how to tell a story better, right? Maybe you tell how to edit a little bit better, right? Add a little bit more in, like intensity, right? You know, make things more tense, make it more intense, right? So that people watch through a little longer. You don't realize that most of this stuff is under the curtain. You can't really measure it. And the problem is most people expect, you know, in a year or two, I'll be a professional. Like I'll be doing great. I'll be doing amazing. If you don't work on those foundations for two, three, four, five years, you're not going to get anywhere. 
This is why very few people get rich. Now you might be saying, okay, I'll go back to that person who's, you know, they blew up really fast. All right, so I look at them, I'm like, oh shoot, okay, whatever. Like, why am I not getting this, okay? Maybe a little bit of jealousy. Let's see how they do after a year. Have they learned anything from blowing up? Matter of fact, it's the opposite because they start following the audience. They start being like, oh, the audience wants this, let me do this. They follow trends. They're not made in their own principles. They haven't learned all the foundations that can make it so that they can take their audience to the next level. They're going to be stuck with 100K viewers, 100K subscribers. While we're learning all the essential skills for how to run this thing. And we know, okay, here's how we scale past 100,000. Here's how we get stories that actually people actually want to listen to. We grow more than them. This is why people who blow up quickly have the worst of it all. Going viral is probably the worst thing that can happen to your, if you're in social media, your social media career. And the thing is, a lot of people say, you know, the reason people ask this, like, why haven't I done well now, is because they don't like doing it. So they don't feel like doing that work that they really want to. Either that, or, you know, they've been doing it for a bit, like, they expect something. So expectations, number one, not going to get you anywhere. If I have expectations for blowing up in a year, I don't hit it. My dopamine drops every time I work on something new within that business because I feel like I'm not making progress. If I feel like I'm not making progress, then I won't feel like working anymore, which makes it so that every time I upload a video, dopamine drop because expectations didn't hit. Oh, this video is going to get a million views. Uh, 250 drop drastically. Your dopamine levels are elevated because you expect it to do really good. And all of a sudden, pff, dead. <laughs> Nothing happened. If that happens over a very long period of time, over and over and over, you won't feel like doing that anymore. But okay, let me go on to the next business idea. Let me try out the next thing. Let me maybe switch to an, another niche. I'll do better than that. You're not going to. You depend on that dopamine flying. You depend on your expectations. And they're killing you more than you realize. The reason we're all told that it'll blow up in a year or two is because the world needs more entrepreneurs. The world needs more people who can get out, do the work, and solve the world's problems. But the thing is, a lot of people weren't made for that. It's the truth. A lot of people aren't made to go through and toil and work hard for four or five years. So we tell them, okay, maybe a year you'll do good, right? Maybe six months. Because genuinely, I would tell that to someone. I would say, it'd take a year or two, even if it didn't take me a year or two. Because I know personally that it is a skill-based thing. Right now, I might not have many subscribers. I think right now we're, we're like touching 600. I don't know, like 570, 580, something like that. It doesn't matter. I might not have much subscribers, but if I can get someone to 600 subscribers, I can do it in less than half the time that it took me to get there because I know it's skill-based. PJ can teach them the best ways to make a thumbnail because I know it's skill-based. He's learned the knowledge for a 600 subscriber YouTuber. And maybe, maybe he's learned the knowledge equivalent to a 100,000 subscriber YouTuber. We just can't see that stuff yet. Maybe it's not getting pushed off to enough people yet. We just have to keep on doing it, keep on working on it, someday it will happen. Don't worry about, oh, will it happen one year, will it happen two years, three years? Just do it. The old Nike slogan, I think that's how it was made, was just do it. In all scenarios, just do it. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out on the way. A lot of people worry, okay, is this a niche I really want to do for the rest of my life? Start something, you'll figure it out. Just do it. That's really it. <laughs> Have a longer time horizon because most of these outcomes of people quitting are because of short time horizons. Think farther out. You may not get revenue for 10 years. Does that stop you? You may not get a single penny for five years, will that stop you? Will that stop you from making better videos, making better quality, getting out better things? Even if there's a possibility you may not get it for 10 years, will that stop you? And if it will, move on to something else because that is not for you. Business is not for you. Go back into working a nine to five job. Maybe you can do a little better there because you can see your measurements there. You have $4 raise every month. I don't know, whatever they earn. I really don't know. So summary, expectations much lower than you think. Otherwise, every time you do something, or maybe you release a product, you try to sell more people, 
you release a video, dopamine just slows down. Secondly, if you're struggling with which, which business to choose, or you're kind of like, okay, should I do here? Don't be like a donkey, right? I believe that's the term. There's hay here, there's water there. Don't like look back and forth, be like, which one should I go to, right? Choose one. You can always go to the other next. You have skills, the foundation for learning that you can apply later. And thirdly, as long as you're getting as long as you're getting better, you're making progress. And progress equals success. Money does not equal success all the time. Money comes if you're doing something good. And if you do something for ten years, it's inevitable that you're not making money from it. It's impossible. Do it for ten years, I guarantee you're making at minimum, at minimum five hundred thousand per year. Because that means you're good at it. Don't stop. Just keep on going.